incorrect. Now let's move on to question number eight. Given the structure that give the structure that corresponds to the following molecular formula and HNMR spectrum. So it's another HNMR question, but this time they give us the molecular formula. And then they also give us kind of what the spectrum would look like. So I'm going to do these in different colors so that it's easier to kind of see. So the first one is a triplet. It says T at around 1.93 ppm. So when you have a shift at 1.93 ppm, this corresponds to the hydrogens that are just like in the middle of two carbons. We have a singlet at 3.35 ppm. And this corresponds to like the hydrogens on the carbon that's beside an oxygen group. And lastly, there is another triplet at 4.49 ppm and this corresponds to the hydrogen um, that is attached to a carbon but it that carbon is also attached to like another carbon so how do I I'll just do like, kind of like that. So there's only one hydrogen involved on the carbon, because that's attached to a second carbon, which is attached to an oxygen. And then they give us the relative integrals of all of these values. So I'm just going to do it in like a different... column and it's at a ratio of 1, 6, 1. Uh, but if we look at how many hydrogens that are actually in uh, the structure, there should be 16. So I'm just going to multiply everything by 2. So it should be 2, 12, and 2, just so that um, we can count out how many of the hydrogens are actually there when we draw our structure. So first, let's look at um, the singlet at 3.35. So since it's a singlet, then we know that it's not, it doesn't have any neighbors that have any hydrogens. And we also know that there are 12 of them. So basically, it's going to be at the end like that. And it, its only neighbor is the oxygen group. And then I'll draw out the CH that corresponds to the triplet at 4.49. So it should only have a neighbor that has 
two hydrogens. Uh, in order to split as a triplet, we're going to do the n plus 1 rule that I talked about earlier. But it's attached to another oxygen that has another CH3 group. So looking at this CH2, which is the triplet at 1.93, we can see that one of its neighbors has one carbon, but since it splits as a triplet, that means it needs to be bonded to two carbons, each with a single hydrogen, if that makes sense. So it has two hydrogen neighbors all together, so it'll split as a triplet. And again, I'm going to just draw out the rest of the structure just so that we have the same number of hydrogens as the compound. And then I'm just going to color code where each of those hydrogens were. So the singlet hydrogens were here. So it's all of the hydrogens that don't have any like hydrogen neighbors. So this is the singlet. And then the triplet, there's only two hydrogens that have the triplet at 1.93. And then lastly, for the O um, CH group, it's going to be these two here that also split as a triplet. Okay, let's look at the answer from our junior tutor. I'll use an asterisk next to the hydrogen for that resonance. So I, I get what they're getting at. Okay, so it's kind of like a confusing um, answer, but um, I'm guessing since the question already gives out the structure almost, I'm just going to write down what I have. Yeah, so it's hard to write out what the structure should look like. Uh, but hopefully that will kind of answer the question. 
I'm still trying to understand what the junior tutor said. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's correct if if I were to actually try to answer this type of question. I just kinda helped out their answer a little bit. So the solution is